Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with 500 grams. That's about right, right? 500 grams is about a pound. Yes, that would be so about a pound. Yeah. I knew it was an even number. It was either 500 or 1,000. It's not. That's not a two pounds. Yeah. No. All right. Have you guys figured out what this is yet? No. Okay. We have not. We're waiting for the. Go. We were waiting for the go. Yeah. Um. Just put it on anywhere. All right. I'm definitely not going to have to. Do, he hates this. Uh, <laughs> every time he's tried this fish scale. Um, all right. I'll be reading it upside down as a special kind of. Yeah. Right there. Okay. We have four kilos. Four kilos lift. Um, what we need is four pounds, so the difference of four kilos plus the 500 grams, so four point, let's see, first thing I'm going to do, so, and I assume the four pounds is after sure. the weight of the scale. Can you guys do this over here so I can give you some other numbers? All right, um. So we're actually looking for 1.8. We need to write down 1.8 is how many kilos of lift we need. All right? That's how it puts our target. <coughs> um, which means? But it's 1.8 in addition to the weight of that mass. Right? Yes. He's adding all that up. So do you want this added on to the numbers? No, no, no. That's our target for the lift. I need a total. Whatever the total is on that. I'm sorry, I know it's very So let's say you overfill the balloon a little bit. Do you shut the valve off and then crack it to let it leak out, or what do you do? You can find we'll ask, Ken. Like, <laughs> if, we were to, if somebody overshot how much helium you wanted in the balloon, do you do anything about it, or are you just, no, it's just going to ascend yeah. too quickly? Yeah, no, we'll just ascend quicker. It's going to burst earlier. Yeah. Like he, yeah. yeah. Jeremy's asking for the video documentation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, you obviously, you want to optimize the higher apply. So we could have gone for a 1500 gram balloon, which means we get hit if it's going to expand larger. The only issue with that was I was a little worried about the track, and ironically, um, a, a higher flight is a shorter track because um, generally, you saw that track, winds go up, ground winds, nominal. Jet stream, above the jet stream, we start going back east. So the longer you're above the jet stream, the further east you drift, you come down through the same cycle. So in a weird way, the higher we fly today, the shorter the track. But we don't want it a real short track because um, there's an entire um, fish, fishing preserve and stuff that's a big forest of swamp. So we're going to avoid that. We want a shorter track, which means our longer track, which means we want a shorter. Track. So that's how you do that. Um, Take that number, the total you had. Write that down. Add 2,300. You're adding 1,800 for the um, 1,800 for the lift we need. Uh, these are all in grams. I'm saying 1,800 for the lift. 500 for the. We're actually measuring the nozzle. Uh, yeah, we have to subtract that. Out. So actually, wait. You subtract that. Out. Yes, because we add it. So you subtract. Oh, because it's already lifted. It's already lifted. I'm sorry. So subtract the 500. It's 1,300. They got a number. Let's George, you got this weight. So it's actually. You yes. weighed the parachute, right? Yes, he did. That's why I have this. Yeah, I know. I didn't really give you much training on this. I'm sorry. But because what you're doing is you're um, measured lift. That's what. And then cause we're, we're nozzle lift. We need that to be one, uh, 1,800 grams. That's what we want. Oh, I'm sorry. Total lift because we need 1,800 grams. That's where the 1,800 comes. Yes. Okay, so where do, where do we go? Okay. So we take this. Uh -huh. That was our. Uh, we um, add that. Okay. Let me start over. I think I already have the number. 7162. Oh, remember that. Who okay. Yeah, right. Right. Write down 7162. Let's just keep filling. Let's start another one up. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, eat, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was close. We've got Whatever one tank is. already and they're starting on the second, the so it'll be a partial fill off of that tank. Yeah, so, so what was the system weight before the balloon? 49, so 72 something. 72.62? 71. Right, I was just adding 1,300 to 4,900. So we need 6.2 out of this. We need 6.2 kilograms out of this. Yep. Um, and we got up to, we got, we got up to what? We have four. We have four. Almost exactly four. So right. about a little more than half of the tank, probably. Let's see where we're at. Uh, we're at about almost five. We're at like four, eight. There we go, go, go. All right. <laughs> um, and by the way, when when you guys do finish it off, can you do me a favor and before you close this, uh, keep an eye on that. He needs to record how much PSI we put in it. Okay. So because once you turn this off, we won't see we don't have a reading because of our. our <laughs> All right, we're at five six. <laughs> Six two, we're six, right? Six two is where we're headed. Okay. Yep. Six two. Six two is our target. We're at about six. So we're gonna slow it down. That's it, yeah. And then. Oh yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Back it all the way off, actually, probably. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing we're in the ballpark now, yeah. based on what our... Um, can you, and... I get 5.9. Okay, keep going. Let me just see. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Uh, nine hundred. You can tell him nine hundred. Jorge, nine hundred for the tank pressure. The second one. The second, the second tank, yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Now we need. Uh, so one was actually. Sean, can you just grab me that kit right there at the, the top? Fourteen. Tool. Fourteen PSI. Uh, sorry. It, what? It's fourteen PSI. It's in the red. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jorge, that was a different unit of measurement. It's fourteen hundred PSI. Okay. And guess what? We didn't put the ring on. Oh, <laughs> that's Crap. always a thing. Yeah, there's no way to do that now. But anyway, well, actually here, it speeds up the top. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal. Okay, so get that note. Procedurally, yeah. the ring has to go on when the balloon is being attached to a fill mechanism. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show. Yep. That ring right there goes on before you do the fill. That's kind of the attachment ring. And then the rest of you guys are going to gently start rotating the whole thing. Okay? We're going to, we want this to... Ready? About two, three rotations. Not, 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 just want to get a cinch on it. You know? They're rotating yeah. it to cinch okay. up. A little bit more. The neck there. A little bit more. Okay. Now you want to hold it um, because it's going to want to unravel. Yep. Now this is that part where you kind of want to avoid what you already did there. This, this part right here is just to give it a safe place to put a zip tie that doesn't pinch it. So don't overlap the tape you've already yeah, taped, is what you're it saying. Yeah, because it makes it hard on... Because otherwise yeah. you can't get it off. Yeah, <laughs> you want to get that off. Ah. 
<laughs> okay. This will be. Well, this is not a 50-pound. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be because we're going to put a 50-pound venture. This is just the yeah the metal loop. <laughs> yeah. They're talking about zip, loop. Okay. zip tie rating. <clears throat> now we're going. Oh, this this zip tie represents the loop. Yeah. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bend this into a U. It's going to be. A, you have to undo it. Yeah, you're right. Now keep your keep your wrist around. The, oh, by the way, wait, wait, wait. Go back. You whoever has those gloves got to do it. This yeah. yeah. Those. You got a lot of force going on one little yeah. pinch point. You don't want to. Leather gloves okay. to help protect. You're gonna be the one. You're gonna be the only thing holding this thing, right? So that okay. Black zip tie um, is in place of the metal ring. That we're gonna bend it. Put on there before it was filled. Hold it tight. There you go. It's good. Perfect. Good. Just, yeah. All right. Now we're gonna bend it up like a U shape. If I can get a hand down here, actually, someone else. You going to get down there? I'm gonna. You might want to get behind. Uh, or if you, so whoever wants to hold. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right up. Up there. If you can hold it, it's a little tough. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Now, well, I should have probably cut it a little higher. Move up a little higher. Now. Yep. Up there. there Back up there. No, you got it. There's nothing like a lot of duct tape. Uh, we'll just struggle that one out a little bit. I was going to say, you have now, it looks like tape the Yeah, a little filler. bit, but at least... Yep. No, I understand. We're, well, actually, we're short. we only have to undo it to there anyway, because uh, that's where it'll slip off. Right, right. Yeah, but I just want to... There's no point in not slapping a lot of it. Okay. All right. We need a... Uh, are you guys still going to try a test? Or did it... We need to go in about. They already did it. Three minutes. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now, uh, someone's gonna have to hold on. Um, I think Josh, because uh, we're gonna take this off now. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Not even gonna do that yet. We gotta make sure that they're ready. Yeah. Um, here. Uh, we're just dead weight. Can I get a hand over here? Two people on the frame, please. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what was your name? Bill. Bill, that's it. It's okay. We're going to walk over here. Parachute so tied with uh, okay. four lines now, we, do we have the to each corner of the frame. We do? Okay, we have to go to the balloon will be, it, or the uh, parachute is attached directly to the balloon without a, uh, a line in between. You can put it down. This is with 50 pound connectors. Uh, yeah, yeah, tie. it's a good point. Pound rated, yeah, 50 pound rated zip tie for this connection. And that's uh, the 50 pound breaking uh, drink requirement is because of FAA regulations, right? Yeah, FAR right. 101, the unmanned free balloons. All we need is uh, I have the payload on there. I think that should go on over here, and then we'll get the trackers. Yeah. What do you, you guys got to try? Do you have any time you want to get the ballpark? Notice the same 50 pound class of parachute lines. Okay. Yeah. Basically, everywhere there's a joint, okay. that joint is at this point joined by a 50 pound class. Okay. We gotta get ready to launch in 15 minutes. I'd like to finish this. 10 minutes. It's interesting to note that the parachute is not not bound in any way. It's just completely loose, and it just opens on its own once it, the the air resistance yeah. is great enough. There's the IIT group, and they're working with their payload, getting ready to attach it to the frame. We have the tape ready. They seemed to be pretty much ready to go when they got here. They had everything set up and ready to go. Didn't have to make any adjustments, or at least it didn't look like they did. Thank you.
That's the, the only that's problem mine was I had a I assume all those holes are drilled across the length so they can balance the loads out. Yeah, I think so. And they give them camera mounts. Uh, yes. They can vary where they're at. Attached. Remember that five to seven camera rig they're doing to get the on yeah. some point to get that down view. Which is awesome. Doesn't matter. That's really cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'd go. So you're saying it's gonna go underneath? Straddle the corner? Like that? Okay, like that. There you go. Straddle. Oh, we need more. Uh, it's right over by the box. Um, I forgot about this part of it. Oh, oh man, where's our zip tie gun? Do we have a zip tie gun? Yeah, In other words, there's no button that says right. software. Remember, it does not software. I'm going to do it with flyers. Are we doing uh, the so they got flyers. Oh, okay. I was just going to go. Uh, I have some. Yeah. What about the flyers? Yeah, no going back. Well, actually, uh, get this. I can grab some for you, Ken. Yeah, I don't want to take it. Is that a pair? Okay. Do, you have do, you, do you need a heavier need duty there. pair? Yeah. There first. Grab down at the bottom there and pull uh, out. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. Okay. And then fold it all the way out. They're a little bit beefier. And the one you just gave me. Believe it or not, you guys are going to have to hold it down here. Okay. Get the one I'm going to need to go right use here. a zip tie gun here yeah. to make sure you get everything really tight. We just don't want it to kind of slip. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's one. Okay. That should be good enough. Make sure the is on. Alright, that's not bad. Sorry guys, I was hoping they um all right. No, we're good. Uh, let's keep that right here. Um uh, we're we're gonna wait until uh, the box is starting. We, we have to get some stuff on here. Here's I know it's like kinda of, the, that's gonna go there. That's all we know. Yeah, yeah. So to put it on there. Okay. We'll stick the box. The only two that are flexible right now, we're going to use those as counterbalances for everything. So that's possible. Get yours connected. All right. Um, yeah, turn it on. That's great. Yeah. 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 I guess we can yeah. 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 All right, sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 That was the igniter that they're working on for the rocket motor, or the rocket at Alice 2. That's another thing to take into consideration. Make sure that, yep, yep, looks good. There's no crossing. Yeah, that there's no crossing, yeah. All right, looks good. Make sure. No higher dimensional space. All right, I'm going to try to press the four dimensional cursors. All right. All right, we're turning on every kick in three, two, one, time. All right, now we close it up and we start taping. So make sure that we want to form it. Uh, we need to start that. If you can, best you can, if you can, um, don't worry about it. 
Have you guys flown like this this rig before, like with a, as far as the uh, the container goes? No, we're no. used to a single um, a single line. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, with a long line of payloads. Uh, I actually have a video that uh, you'll be able to see. Later. Okay. Uh, it's actually very cool because you have to run with the balloon once you take off. Oh yeah. Because uh, yeah, and you need to make sure that you let go right when it it's going to hit you know come off the ground because. If you let go of it early, the payload will go slam, and then it'll take off. Oh, okay. And uh, that may not be a good thing. So. <laughs> you didn't rate it for that kind of shock, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, this thing is pretty tough, but I don't know if it's that tough. Oh, no. No, we have to do it. That's more. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do me a favor and uh, once we start looking like we're ready to walk out, uh, just front of the camera. Okay. Check. Mike, you actually, you can turn it on now. Check. Um, in fact, we can right turn it on now. Uh, they have 32 gig cars, so they're not going to run out. Actually, could you guys get me one more piece of tape, same size? I asked them that a little bit ago. Okay. I was kind of wondering if they uh, <laughs> could switch back and forth. <laughs> huh? If you're a little smarter than I am, I probably would have been standing there the whole time with them straight up. How big would you like? Oh, yeah. Where's it going? Oh, that's rock. Right here. Let me get this one more. Can you get it? 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 Can you get